Here we go then. Uh, Liverpool lose a man, lose the game. Um, it was a massive, massive game uh, against Arsenal. I'm seething, to be honest. And I think the reason is we were outplayed. We were outfought. We were outthought. They wanted it a bit more. And their plan was better. I, whatever we tried today, they nullified. And those two centre halves, Saliba and Gabriel, are absolutely brilliant. Um, they just didn't give us anything really apart from a goal, um, which is stupid, of course. But yeah, we just couldn't build out from the back. They pressed us. They harried us when when they needed to on their terms. Um, they sat in, they played the low block and we couldn't get it through to our midfielders. So much so that second half we have to drop Kurt Jones deeper. Um, but then that took a forward player out of us. The plan with Trent to just probably play a little bit like Conor Bradley on the right hand side, apart from maybe a couple of crosses um, in the first half. Didn't really get him into too many positions. Joe Gomez was pressed and harried whenever he got the ball in the middle of the park. And, you know, they decided to pick on him rather than maybe Alexis McAllister. And that makes perfect sense. I thought McAllister did have a good game, but I think, you know, completely limited in, in terms of what was with him. You know, Kurt Jones couldn't really get into the game. And if you think Kurt Jones couldn't really get into the game, then Gravenberg really couldn't get into the game. And Gakpo just couldn't get anything. Um, he has worked hard. But to what end? Jota, couple of early opportunities, one that bounces off his knee. But all told, and this is why I'm I'm so seething, is that they were the better side and they thoroughly deserved their three points. And I don't say that with an ounce of irony or anything. I, I truly believe they were better than us tonight and we were just off all night. Never really put you know, 10, 20 minutes together where you thought, this is it. And we got that lucky goal. And I really thought, like, Liverpool could capitalise on that. It was a sucker punch of a goal at, at one all. Um, and to then go into half-time, and we just never... We came out, and it looked like, you know, down that left-hand side, we were going to try something um, early doors. And we get a couple of opportunities. You know, McAllister has that long range yeah, from 30 yards that I thought went really close. It turns out it didn't. Um, and then it was just the capitulation. I mean, the Van Dyke and the Allison mess up. And it's on the goalkeeper, but I would have liked Van Dyke to have dealt with that and just nodded it back to the goalkeeper, made sure it got into the area. That is a massive mistake. Absolutely huge. And we can't pick ourselves up after it. And then Trossard goes bursting down the wing and scores a goal. Where again, you've got to question the goalkeeper, Alison Becker. Now he's got credit in the bank. We all know that. Uh, and to be fair, over the years, he, he had a bad game or two. You know, he makes mistakes at times. But what he gives is obviously is, is so much more. Um, that's a... Uh, shake it off, forget about it, don't even look at the video, just move on to the next game type of a performance for me. Um, you know, question marks about the substitutions, how they didn't really work, but the game plan never really worked. Uh, we couldn't get Darwin Nunes into the game. Um, Robbo, did he make an impact? No, not really. Did Ruben Joe Gomez make an impact? No, not really. Did Harvey Elliott make an impact? No, not really. Did Thiago have a positive effect? No, not really. Um, it was just a bad one. And then getting Canate sent off misses, means he'll miss the Burnley game, isn't it, next weekend? And, you know, Kwanzaa and Van Dyke likely to play unless Joe Gomez comes in at centre half and we play Robertson and Trent or maybe Connor Bradley's coming back in. Likely Anfield, probably Kwanzaa comes back in maybe. Um, but two points ahead of Arsenal now. City two games in hand can go ahead of us by a point. Hurts the goal difference. Putting a terrible performance today. It, it, it hurts. It really hurts. But it's not over. You know, we're... we're we're still in this fight for the Premier League this season. And 
it's going to be difficult because Manchester City historically have been so good. Arsenal will feel and are right back in it now. Um, it's a three-horse race at the moment. Uh, and we're gearing up for the finish line. We're round in the last corner. And all three teams will have the belief that they can do it this season. So it just got a little bit harder because we win this game today and Arsenal are dead and buried in terms of the title race, I believe. But they fought tooth and nail for it. They deserved it. And now can Liverpool pick themselves back up and put a marker down next week and the week after. And the week after that, you can have a blip. You can have an early blip in a title race. And I think that's our blip. But we can't afford to make anything else, any other mistakes. Now, we need Salah back into this side. We need a, a little bit of reinforcements. You know, Sobersly was missed massively today. Uh, I really... You know, really believe that. Um, Gravenberg didn't do the business for me. Gakpo didn't do the business for me. Nunes back in from the start. Sobersly, hopefully the injury's not too bad. Um, and just forget about it. Move on. Because we're still ahead of Arsenal. We're still in this race. We've got to believe. We've got to support. We've got to show up each and every single week. Because there's a title to be won here. Um, and the lads need us. Anyway, if you've enjoyed it, like the video, leave us your thoughts, of course, in the comment section below, uh, and I'll see you all soon.